Stevie with me in the studio as the shortlist was announced for this year's Ballon d'Or winner. 30 players made it. Uh, we'll show you the top eight here according to the bookies. And Lionel Messi, a big favourite, three to one on to win it all. Lewandowski second, Jorginho uh, third, Conte then at 12 to one. It does look like it's between those three. Uh, Messi being though the out and out, out, and out favourite. Uh, Julien Laurent is with us. We'll start with Jules. Who would you be voting for? Uh, it would be Karim Benzema for me. I just think that... <laughs> not, not just of course it would. <laughs> of course, you know. You he said that with a serious... Uh, I thought he was, like, having a laugh. No, yeah. no, he can't. He said that with a serious face. He, he didn't win anything, Jules, did he? What did Real Madrid, what did France win last year? Nothing. What, you can't, you can't be... What, you have to win something to win the Ballon d'Or? Since when? Well, I think it's very much an important part of it, isn't it? Cannavaro won it in 2006 for winning the World Cup with Italy. Yeah. Who's the last so what, person? Because Robert Lewandowski won. Because Robert Lewandowski won the Bundesliga 40 points ahead of <laughs> the team second. That's why he, he has to win the Ballon d'Or. Deserves to win it more than Karim Benzema, who's been carrying Real Madrid for the last two and a half years. He broke the unbreakable record. He broke Gert Muller's record, didn't he? What did Benzema do? Didn't he? Didn't yeah, he <laughs> did. And Lewandowski is a great player and will be a worthy winner. You ask me who. I think should win it. That's I true, think Karim Benzema has been out of this world in 2021. Love it. Listen, I'm kind of going back and forward because it's the criteria that actually annoys me more than anything else. Uh, and at the end of the day, I'm going to go with Lewandowski. You know, the fact that he did break Gerd Muller's record, mm -hmm. um, the fact that, you know, there's all this talk about different players carrying their team. Let's be honest. He's... <laughs> Without him, Bayern Munich haven't won what they've won over the last, certainly two years, the last 12 months. Uh, and so I'm going to go the old-fashioned, old-school pick. Right. Who's been the best player over the last 12 months? Right. And it's Lewandowski. Arguments, of course, for Lionel Messi would be that Argentina wouldn't have won Copa America without him, that Barcelona would be nowhere near a title race, as they've proved, of course, since he's left without him. His numbers are extraordinary. Well, it's a nice story. It's a nice story if Messi wins it, but it wouldn't be the right decision. Yes, he did win the, the Copa America with mm. Argentina, which is great, but listen, his... His, his other, certainly his domestic season, was way below what he's done previously. Yeah, but look who he was playing with. I'm sorry I'm giving you an argument why you shouldn't win it. Well, I'm just arguing why you should win it. That's what it's all about. That is the beauty of the Ballon d'Or. be right one of these The days. argument, of course, continues throughout the weeks. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+.